What's up, dudes? Thanks as always for tuning in to P-Dubs Arcade Loft, where we always appreciate it when you hang out upstairs with us. The second annual At Games a National Owner's Day is fast approaching. It's going to be here February 14th, 2021. This upcoming Sunday, is it going to be an awesome event? Well, we got some early release information to get us hyped up and ready for what's going to happen this weekend. Let's take a look. All right, guys, we're back. So for starters, not only is At Games going to be giving away over $20,000 worth of merchandise, as well as five At Games Legends pinball machines throughout the day on National Owners Day, they're also going to be giving us updates and show us some new products, as well as changes to products that we've been waiting for and all that kind of stuff. So for instance, when it comes to that control deck that we're all eagerly awaiting to be released for the At Games Legends pinball machines... Well, guys, they've listened to fan feedback. They've changed the artwork and design of this thing. Originally, it looked it had the Tron artwork on it, the same kind of Tron artwork you find on your Legends Ultimate arcade machines. Well, At Games has listened to fan feedback that, hey, that Tron artwork, that's not going to match my Legends pinball machine. My Legends pinball machine's got Gottlieb artwork on it. And if I want to leave this control deck in there for an extended period of time... It's not going to match. Well, guess what, guys? They're going with an all-black design. Black buttons, black trackball, black uh, ball top, black artwork. And if you ask me, guys, this is a huge home run by At Games. I myself cannot wait to get this. And when I get this, I will install it in my Legends Pinball Machine, and I will probably never remove it. I understand that some folks don't want to play arcade games on their pinball machine. But as I've shown on my channel, I can't wait to play vertical games on my 32-inch play field whenever I feel like taking a pinball break. And, of course, it's going to have an eight-way digital joystick trackball, precision trackball, um, and, of course, all the buttons and stuff. As you guys know, the hardware that comes with the At Games is actually pretty decent hardware out of the box. Um, and then, of course, you'll be able to use this for your add-on games, your bring-your-own games, your BYOG, your streaming your APL, if you wanted to plug in those blast dongles, all that kind of stuff. Now, we don't have a price point yet. Again, this is the early information. I'm assuming this weekend we're going to find out about product availability as well as pricing, hopefully, by At Games on National Owners Day. Um, also, guys, when it comes to Legends controller support for your Gamer Core Legends Core hockey pucks, this is really interesting news. At Games will be revealing and showing off the At Games Legends gamepad. That's right, guys. At Games is going to be releasing their own gamepad for these um, Legends Core devices. And, of course, let's take a look at it right here, guys. Now, guys, as you guys know, if you follow my channel, I am a big Xbox guy. Always been an Xbox guy over PlayStation. So as an Xbox fan, I'm loving the green, I'm loving the black, and I'm loving the design of this controller. This actually looks really cool in my opinion. This looks like an actual gaming controller versus some stuff we've seen recently in the market from some other arcade companies that have made HDMI consoles. This, is a, this thing looks fantastic in my opinion. I really like this, and that's me being completely honest. And of course, guys, this thing will be wireless Bluetooth compatible as well as have a USB if you did want to have a wired solution. We did get the price point on this. The manufacturer suggests a retail price of $34.99. It will be compatible with the Legends Core, the Legends Gamers, uh, the Legends Ultimate, the Legends Connect, the Legends Pinball. Guys, you can use this controller on all of your Legends devices. So this is pretty, pretty cool, pretty exciting stuff. Now, although At Games is providing us controller support by having us purchase another product, although it looks like a good product at a good price, $34.99 is pretty good compared to what some controllers go for these modern gaming consoles in retail stores. At Games, I do hope you still continue to roll out firmware updates and patches and things for folks who have existing controllers in their home who don't want to have to purchase another device. One of the reasons people bought the core by itself was the promise that you could use your own controllers and it would be compatible with a bunch of them and we've discovered as of today it's only compatible with some not a bunch of not a bunch of controllers 
So to avoid customers having to purchase a new product, I still hope At Games does right by them and continues to provide updated controller support on those devices. But in the meantime, if you want a quick solution, this looks pretty cool in my opinion. I'll probably end up getting one of these myself, the Legends Gamepad. That's very, very interesting. Now let's talk about something that got leaked previously on this channel, on the Super Game Room dudes and all that kind of stuff is your Legends Ultimate Mini. That's right, guys. At Games is making a three-quarter scale arcade cabinet. Although it's three-quarter scale, it does not require a riser. At Games is not a furniture company. They're not making risers. So the actual side panels and everything is just one panel. Um, also, you'll notice here, look at the orientation of the screen, guys. This screen is in vertical position. That's right, guys. At Games has, is using a patent pending. That's right, guys. They have a patent pending user rotatable display, which means you can have the screen in vertical mode, play your vertical games, your pinball games, all that kind of stuff. And, of course, it will rotate for you to play your horizontal games. I think that that is a huge feature. What a huge big bucket of win there on the rotating screen. Also, guys, although I don't think it comes with pinball buttons, because when I took a look here through this product sheet, it says it's pinball button compatible, but it didn't actually show where the pinball buttons are. Or if they're, let's see here. <coughs> yeah, right here, guys. Pinball buttons, light guns, available as optional accessories. So although the pinball buttons are here, I don't think they come included. But you'll notice that you have kind of a Legends Gamer Mini style control deck. This particular product will have the eight buttons for playing modern games as well as your joystick. It will have swappable control decks, menu, rewind, player one start buttons, uh, pinball button compatible. And you'll notice At Games has listened to fan feedback and has decided to not do the multi-cade artwork. Looks like this is going to be a Tetris-themed cabinet. That's right, guys, a Tetris-themed cabinet that is roughly the same height uh, as other three-quarter scale cabinets. In fact, I think it's a little bit taller than them without a riser included, as well as a rotating screen. Now, when it comes to price point, now, obviously, this product is going to have the same exact features and functionality and ecosystem as your Legends Ultimate Machines. It's going to come with 150 games, though, with the ability for you to use their ecosystem to play thousands and thousands of other games. Um, but we don't have a price point. We don't have a release date as of today. I'm assuming this might be more stuff coming out, hopefully this Sunday on National Owners Day. We'll find out, hopefully, the price and when can we place orders and all that kind of stuff this coming Sunday. So this is pretty exciting. Guys, make sure you let me know in the comments below what you think about the control panel for the Legends Pinball Machine, the upcoming Legends Gamepad controller, as well as the new... Legends Ultimate Mini three-quarter scale arcade machine that's going to have a rotating screen as well as not require a riser, 150 games, 18 and a half inch LCD, and this is a 1080p, 60 frames per second capable monitor, so the monitor should be pretty quality, especially if you want to play pinball games on it. Everything should look and run pretty good. Can't complain about all, all that. And of course, it's going to have BYOG, Wi-Fi, leaderboards, Everything that you have with At Games today, you're going to get in this particular product. Now let's talk real quick pinball, guys. So, for instance, guys, the Zakaria pinball games are coming soon. Let's take a look here, guys. Let's see if I can get you a clip. Let's check it out. Don't move. Let's go ahead and run that one more time for you guys. It's a quick clip. That's right, guys. Your Zakaria pinball games that you'll be able to download and purchase on all your Legends devices, including your Legends pinball machines, and with back glass plunger haptic feedback accelerometer support these things will be fully compatible with all the features of the cabinet these games are coming out very very soon 
We're going to hear more about this, hopefully on National Owner's Day. All 105 Zakaria games, guys, will end up being available um, for download and for purchase and download using Flash Drive X, just like you do with your Gottlieb games. Now, this is important to note. Let's make sure we don't get confused about this. It, these games will work and they'll be compatible. They'll have versions available for your Legends Gamers, your Legends Ultimate Arcade Machines. As you know, At Games is all about options, as well as the Legends Pinball Machine. Obviously, if you go to purchase these games on those platforms, they're going to be running probably at 720p, 30 to 60 frames per second, like we've seen with the Gottlieb games. And you can go ahead and just download and purchase them. When it comes to if you have an ArcadeNet subscription, if you have an ArcadeNet subscription, just like the Gottlieb games, you'll have access to all these games as part of your ArcadeNet subscription, which is really, really cool. Just one more reason to sign up for ArcadeNet. You'll be able to play these games on all of your devices. And of course, when it comes to the Legends Pinball Machine itself, it will run at 1080p, 60 frames per second, the works, baby, back glass, haptic feedback, plunger, all that kind of stuff included. And when it comes to getting the games, they're going to release them in four different packs. That's right, guys. So when it comes to getting these games, you're looking at buying, what, about 27-ish at a time, something like that? So uh, you're going to have to get four packs to equal all 105 games. And it's pretty exciting, guys. The Zakaria games are going to be coming out soon. We'll hopefully find out more information about this as well on National Owner's Day. When can we order? How much are they going to be? Hopefully we'll find all that out this Sunday as well. It's a very exciting stuff going on in <laughs> in the world of At Games for their National Owner's Day, guys. And not only that, I think I have some additional information for you, last-minute information. So again, National Owner's Day, February 14th, this Sunday, Valentine's Day, starts at 9 a.m. Pacific time, will run until 9 p.m., Pacific time. It's an all-day event. They're going to be giving away over $20,000 worth of products and discount codes, including five At Games Legends pinball machines. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel, as well as make sure you guys check out our Super Game Room dudes. We might end up having some interviews with some At Games folks and maybe some folks from Farsight Studios. We're seeing if we can get that coordinated for National Owners Day as well. Should be a fun event. Either way, guys, uh, what I like about this is it's all about the community, right? The community staying connected and having fun playing games together, which is what, you know, the At Games motto is. This year, their theme is staying connected. I look forward to staying connected with all of you this upcoming weekend. There's going to be a lot more information rolling out this week by At Games. They'll be making their own announcements as well as um, stay tuned to the channel that way you guys don't miss any really, really good information. I'll try my best to cover what I can for you. If you guys enjoyed the content, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up on the way out. And thank you for subscribing.